channel, it's your girl Jackie O. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So July 8th is probably one of the most anticipated dates for a lot of beauty lovers and beauty obsessed people just like me. And that is going to be the release and the launch of the new Urban Decay, my phone, hello. July 8th is the date when the Urban Decay newest naked smoky palette comes out from their smoky series. I got this palette a couple weeks ago. Like I said, it is set to release July 8th. So what I wanted to do today was introduce the palette a little bit to you guys, how it has compared to some of the other naked palettes that I have from Urban Decay because I have been a avid obsessed person. I love the, I completely stand for the entire naked series. I always have, I probably always will. I just love the payoff of the shadows. I love the variety. I love the fact that I have like an all in one palette that I can go with. And I wanted to show you guys a few of my past pa naked palettes if you don't already have them now so that you can see how this one compare this new one compares to what they've already released. So the only one that I don't have, have is the naked three. The first naked palette, we saw a lot of more gold, basic shadows. And then when we came out with the naked two palette, it was more rose golds. It was more cooler, pinkier tones. Now we have the newest of out of the entire collection. And these are more of your gunmetal cooler tones. Now, the only thing that I find a bit confusing about the launch of this palette is it, this seems more of like a fall winter palette, in my opinion, just because it's a lot of cool tones, a lot of icy grays, gunmetal blues, and they're beautiful, beautiful colors. Don't get me wrong. It does not disappoint compared to the other palettes, but do I think they could have waited a couple months? Probably. Still a bomb palette though, I'm not going to lie. It is still a beautiful, beautiful palette. So as you can see, it has 12 shades and like I said, lots of cool tones, gunmetal, icy grays. These are not colors and I will be, I will give my honest thoughts. These are not colors that are exclusive to lighter to medium skin tones. I know that a lot of us in the women of color range, we tend to stay away from icy gut, but this is not a palette that you cannot make work and it does not take a ton of effort. I can assure you this is definitely, in my opinion, a woman of color friendly palette, mainly because of the fact that they've thrown some blues and purples in there. Blues and purples are probably, especially these types of blues, the navies and the like true purples, dust you've got like a dusty purple shade i think they look amazing on women of color and the eye look that i'm wearing now is probably one of my favorite like go-to smoky nighttime eyes that i like to create i would say this is definitely a nighttime wearable palette some of the day i, I personally i like this for the darker shades that you see in here but the lighter shades are just kind of okay this is definitely going to be your going out palette for daytime take your naked too if you're going out after work take naked smoky i'm just Put it that way. Instead of doing one tutorial using the palette, I wanted to show you a collection of different looks and different ways that I came up with how to use this palette. I thought it would be a fun, different take on a review type of video. So I came up with not one, but four uniquely kind of diverse ways that you can get some good use out of that palette because that's what palettes are for. You've got 12 eyeshadows, put them to use. Why not? That's pretty much all I have to say on my thoughts about what I think about the palette. Is it brown girl friendly? Yes. Will it probably one of my new arsenals? Probably now that I'm actually talking about it to you guys. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how four different ways you can use the Naked Smoky palette. So the first look is going to be a chocolate smoky eye. And I started off with actually this is, I believe, a eyebrow gel. And I'm applying that all over the lid and using that as a base. Then I took whiskey from the palette and oh my god when i showed you guys this palette on instagram this was the most talked about eyeshadow in the entire palette it is a gorgeous like deep super sexy crease color but i'm applying it all over my lid and i'm also applying it along my bottom lash line and it's just such a good color then i took radar and i applied that on the center of my eyelid and then i wanted it to pop a little bit more so then i took dirty sweet and just threw that right on top to make it just kind of look more reflective a little bit more and actually decided to wear lashes today and then I added black pencil liner and that was pretty much the first look very simple as for the second look I took a regular eyeshadow base the one that I'm using today is from Sephora so I'm just blending that out then I took dagger which is a pretty dark navy grayish blue so I blended that out as much as I could and then I took this dusty purple eyeshadow which is password from the palette and I'm blending that out and just making sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that and just looks nice and airbrushed. 
Then I took Smolder and I wet my brush first and I applied this onto my eyelids as a lid color. And I, this is probably one of my favorite colors and I've used this multiple different times. You'll see me demonstrating that in this tutorial today. Then I took this icy blue color. This one is called Slanted, just a tiny, teensy, tiny bit and applied that on top of the purple. And then with the same purple, I'm gonna be blending that out along the bottom lash line. I added mascara and black pencil liner and that was it. Now look three is the look that I wore in my Charlotte Tilbury haul video that you guys love. The only difference is I did add a little bit of glitter right before I added, right before I did that tutorial. This is slightly different from that, but you'll get the picture. So anyway, we're taking whiskey again, blended that in the crease, then I took Dirty Sweet and I applied that straight onto my lid, but I decided it was a bit too bright for my liking. So then I went in with Radar. I wet the brush and then I applied that directly on top just to kind of tone down the gold shininess in the look. It wasn't really the look I was going for. Then I took Black Market and I'm using the sharp side of the brush that comes with the palette to define my crease. And it's just going to add more depth and make the eyes look more sunken in, but in a really sexy way. And then I'm blending that out and making sure that that's nice and blended and blended in with the rest of the eye look. Then I took Radar again and I'm blending that on my bottom lash line. And that is the end of look number three. I actually decided to wear liquid liner. Woo! Go me! Stepping it up! All right, last look is my absolute favorite. I started off with this cream shadow base from Charlotte Tilbury, which is one of my current favorites. And Password! We seem to be seeing a lot of Password in today's tutorials. I'm going to be applying that not only in the crease, but all over the lid. I lined my top lash line and waterline with a black pencil liner. Made sure that was all smoked out by applying Smolder, which is the dark purple, on top of it and blended and smoked that out. Then I took Black Market to darken it, but only on the outer corner, outer crease area. So I'm just laying that color on and then blending it out. And then I added mascara and that's it. And see, I got four super easy, quick looks with one palette. All right guys, so I wanna know what you guys' favorite look out of all four that I created. And I really hope that you guys found this mini review and tutorial helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you aren't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I will see you guys at my next video. Bye.